Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2. Yeah, so last time, hmm, what did I do? Oh yeah, uh, I reached the gutter, yes. Let's see if I can level up. I think I did that last episode, so I don't think I'll be able to. Nope. So, anything else I need to check? Can I upgrade my equipment? Because I really like this armor. If I could just put a couple of reinforcements on it. Then I chunks, I don't have those. Okay, need some titanite shards. They are quite expensive, but if I can get maybe three, that should be. Or four, yeah, let's get four. Visit me again. What? And now reinforce. Like this. This two times and then I'll be around if you make it back. Okay, now we can move on to the cutter. The darkest place in all of Dark Souls 2. <laughs> and it sucks. Oh. <laughs> that was some wood. Okay. Now let's see if I remember the quickest strat through this because I think there was a trick to it. Then jump. Over here? Maybe? Through here and then, oh yeah, that's this dog. Ah, oh, crap. I don't like him. Oh yeah, a dark pyromancy flame. Let's S this up. Let's deal with this guy first. We are cornered now. Ah, oh, crap, I can't attack him. No! Ah! I got blocked by the wall. Please jump off. No? Okay. Come on. Now, at least I know. <laughs> the wood falls again. At least I know the way. So. Oh! That wasn't part of my plan. Okay, but it leads, to, it leads to the same place. Oh, why wasn't I running there? Okay, smoothly, smoothly. It said. Okay, it's actually easier to fight him in an open area. Okay. He's dead. And if I'm not mistaken, yes. Up the ladder we go. Now, there are a couple more, yeah. Any more? I thought there were. Okay. <laughs> Up the ladder one more time. Oh, or not. Just wait for this guy. Now we can go up. Without getting kicked in the face. Oh, 
like this. Down there. Oh yeah, and these. These statues, they spit poison. Ugh. Oh yeah. There's this guy. Just climb. Nope. Guess not. Come on, climb up. Because there's a dog coming. Okay. And the chest. Now, let's do some fancy business. Oh, we missed. Poison, not the best. Okay, I, there was a way somewhere. It wasn't behind the dog. Yeah, it was. Again, real good poison. I think these dogs are the enemies I like the least because always they somehow seem to hit me. Let's try and yes, backstab, and we probably get a torch. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, I think there's another dog up here. One of those guys. Okay, let's back off. I uh, don't like him. Come on, can you hit through my shield? No, you can't. Come at me. Oh, he came at me. <laughs> Now there should be a way down, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's just another bridge. Oh yeah, and this cave. This can be quite dangerous. I think we get a shield here. The wicked eye shield, if I remember correctly. Let's see. It's not that great. Yeah, Wicked Eye Great Shield. Um, it has a special effect though. Wicked Eye Great Shield. Great Shield with an unsettling design covered in the prints of countless hands. The true origin of this shield is unknown. No amount of polishing can clear its face of the mysterious handprints. Effect? HP absorb. So every time I kill an enemy, I absorb some of its it's HP, but I have the shield that I want right now, so... Oh no, poison. Always forget about the poison. So I don't really need anything else. There's another dog down there. I can't do plunging attacks, it seems. Let's get down as fast as possible. Yeah. I don't actually remember the correct way. But down is the way to go. That's for sure. I probably missed a couple of items. Oh. But I don't really care. <laughs> now there's one item here in particular, I think. Dark fog, yeah. A spell. But there was something else 
Uh, you sometimes get here, and I don't remember what. Something unique. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so these urns. Um, I don't actually know if they're dangerous, but they look dangerous, so every time I've been here, I just use a firebomb. Yeah, looks like they are acidic. You had your armor, yeah. Then there's a drop. Is this the item? No, it's not the fragrant branch of yore that I was looking for. Oh crap. This doesn't look good. Looks pretty though. Doesn't look good. One bonfire to go, and then the next Lord Soul. Ooh. Exciting. <laughs> I always try to do this. So that I don't get poisoned. And the moveset of this weapon actually works quite well. Because it swings in a nice arc. Okay, I shouldn't worry about those. Ooh, that's a nice weapon. A shotel. It's a nice curved sword. A uniquely shaped curved sword. The name of its creator is unknown, but he was clearly a true craftsman. The curved blade is designed to reach around the opponent's shield to deal damage. Use a strong, strong attack to utilize. Effect, shield piercing, strong attack. That's awesome. Okay, now let's... Oh no! Still in the menu, so I couldn't attack. <laughs> ah, crap, I'm poisoned. Oh, and these guys. They aren't strong, but they can do a lot of damage. Okay, let's heal quickly before we die. And the poison should wear off. Oh crap! Yeah, oh yeah. Did I mention they, if they grab you when they jump out of the tar, they can one one hit kill you in a grab attack. That's that shitty. Another tactic, of course, is just running through this area. Balls to the walls, just going for it. As you can see, I just got poisoned and it doesn't really work for me that well. So let's quietly smash these statues. Okay, so two hits, back off, and then, oh, no, what, what was that, I've never seen one do that before, okay, it's pretty clear, what I'm supposed to do, just gonna go for it, oh no, but there are these warm creatures, okay, crap, 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 Just take it slowly, as I'm used to. And actually, I think there's a name for this phenomena. 
think it's called the Let's Play Curse. And, um, off camera, everything works well, goes as planned. But then on camera, suddenly you lose all ability to actually play properly. Okay, I'm poisoned now. That was close. Come at me, bro. Come at me. They usually drop um, tight night chunks, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's bait the other one out. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Just lash out. He's cautious. Come on. Okay, let's test this up. Our health is getting quite low. Oh no, poison again. Worm guys. Do I actually have some anti poison? Uh, poison resist? Oh, yes! Poison moss. That will be quite useful. Okay, now. This guy should go down without any real problem. Because he has a blind spot. <laughs> I don't know about that guy though. So let's try it with him. Sir, do you have a blind spot? Okay, now about this section. In the middle there, that's just a trap. So I'm just going to book it to this little side entrance of the cave where we find a bonfire. Now, if you want to get um, the Havel's equipment, the heavy armor from Dark Souls 1, there is an area where you can get the key for it here, but um, I don't really need it, so I won't bother with it actually. poison. Now what we should do here mm, no let's put down a summon sign and usually also this place is quite popular for uh, helping with the boss so it shouldn't take long well Maybe it'll take long, considering it's like uh, almost 2 a.m. now. <laughs> so I don't think a lot of people are playing right now. Come on, I need some humanity. Or screw it. 
Yeah, cancel the summoning sign. I still have three of them, might as well use them. Alexius. And another Samro. Awesome. Praise the sun, Alexius. Welcome to my world. And Baden. Hmm. What would the stars be? Okay. The next was another great soul. That's a lot of people. It's actually quite easy if you have some people to help you. Which is actually the case with most bosses. <laughs> oh, make sure you don't step into the fire. No, no, no! Oh, that grab attack wasn't supposed to happen! No! Oh, crap. Well... <laughs> I think I'm going to try him on my own, actually. I've never actually done it on my own. But let, let's do this. Gain my stamina. Come at me, bro. Oh, he takes quite a lot of damage. Oh, let's reclaim my soul. And let's, you know, not run into the fire. Oh, I missed. So the grab attack is instant death. Sometimes he bars. Thank God my adaptability is quite at the level that I like it. Oh, if he does that, go back. Because that means death. I actually don't need to hold up my shield. Oh, he hit me. Oh, bad time to Estus. And roll back. Oh, so that hurts when you're back. Okay. Never had to deal with that attacker before. Watch out for the grab attack. Okay, let's look for an escape. And then an Astus. Let's not get greedy. Okay, now we can get greedy. Well, he barfs. 
And that's that. The rotten. No need for help. Soul of the rock. Okay, and now uh, that item there is a flame seed. I could go get it. But that would be a bit dangerous. So maybe do I have something to protect me from fire? I don't think I do. Crap. Let's let's risk it anyway. Yeah, it's not that bad. Fire seed, sorry, not a flame seed. And now, um, if the entrance is there, the exit should be... Wait, where is the exit? Oh yeah, it's behind here. A bit hidden, but yeah. Once you know its location, it should be fairly easy. And in this chest, I really don't remember what's in this chest. Oh, some sublime bonus. Hooray. Four SS Flask upgrades. Now we can return to Majula with 60,000 beautiful souls to level up. Finally put some points into dexterity. Probably with this I guess four levels maybe? Let's let's rest at the bonfire first. Oh yeah, let's oh crap. Let's burn the sublime bonus. Okay. Now. Hello, Emerald Herald. Proceed. It is the old level up. Yes, four levels as I expected. Oh yeah, and I will have enough souls left. So, ah, crap, I'm tempted to just get this to 20, and this to 20, and be over with it. <laughs> okay, let's do this first, and then we'll put points into dexterity. I just like to have the even numbers. Oh yeah. Ladder Smith Gilligan. I think we can get a weapon from him, but I don't know for sure. Maybe um I think I need a bit more souls for that. Okay, let's see. To see our Gilligan, have ya? <laughs> well, of the ladder. Well, I get. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You need to see. No, no. Now, here you are, to my friend. You can. Milu Scimitar. Oh, come on. You're hopeless, I tell ya. Okay. Cheers for that. <laughs> And I don't actually, I I never unlocked this weapon before, so I don't know. Ooh, Malu Scimitar. Scimitar of Lattersmith Gilligan. Nothing notable about this weapon, except perhaps the luxurious jewels embedded in the hilt. If your aim is to appear dazzling on the battlefield, this might just do... This might just do just the trick? Well, that's, that's a weird sentence. Threw me off, actually. And now he does he sell anything Anita? new? Mm, no. Okay. Are you sure? No, I think so. Okay. Now we only have one way to go. Wait, we already went that way, didn't we? Yeah. We already did that. So, okay, now I remember where I need to go. There was this one cave. One cave just before we entered the jeweler. And 
this is where we need to be. Overgrown. Do we actually have... I need to check. Oh yes, we have these and this. So we might just pay a visit to the crows at the beginning. See if we can get something awesome. Aha, there is this guy. Bernhardt, I think in his name is. Hello. Have you business with me? The way you're under is all blocked up, you see. Having some fun. I'm in clean. See that statue? Gives me the valleys. Ah, it just doesn't seem quite right. Hey. See that statue? Ah, it. Hey. Okay. That's all he says. Now statue. Hello. Use the fragrant branch of your... <laughs> she looks a bit scared. Thank you. No problem. Prism stone, I thank you. And turned to stone. I owe you my life. Oh. Um, but do you have any clothing? I'll take any anything. Just any clothing. Give equipment. Let's see, maybe this hat? Yeah. Then Ooh. The yeah, rogue armor, why not? With the Wanderer Manchettes and does it sorcerer skirt? Why not? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, reinforced pyromancy frame. That's something I can do. Let's do that. Just because I can actually for no other reason. She also sells some fire seeds from a uh, fireball. No. Let's stop. I have my. His name is Karelian of the Fold. Karelian. Oh yeah, he's the uh, sorcerer we saw in No Man's Wolf sitting there. When he set out for Drang Lake, but thank yeah. you so much. After I change into this, hmm, but perhaps. Okay, and now, get ready for an ambush. Oh yeah. And that's the basilisk, right there. No need to fight them, actually. This opens, yes. Now we can actually fight them. Come at me, brothers. You have to be careful for him because he can turn you into stone. If that happens, well, you're in for a bad time. to hit me. Maybe we need a little more adaptability. Just a, t a, t a tiny bit. 
spot five points and there are some items in these doors if I remember correctly and also some monsters Exactly where the items are. Oh, I didn't go into that one. So we have to make another pass over there. Just light it and not rest of it, or these guys <laughs> will all respawn. And we don't need that. A chest. With an Estus flask shard. Awesome, awesome. We'll upgrade our Estus flask later. Because now we have to walk through the forest. Um, the shaded woods. One of the, let's say, nicer areas, not too difficult. A fading soul. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> That's a nice little but not a great reward. And now behind me, if I... Yeah. Because up there was also something. <laughs> I took that rock right to the face. A Pharaoh's Lockstone. That's nice. Steps. More of these. And the live channel. Now we made it to the next bonfire. couple of ways to go but only one that will actually lead to progress and that's this one. Oh yeah and this guy is back here from um, Huntsman Scops <laughs> I remember you Don't you scare me like that That bastard with a ring lives in Brightstone Cove down the way For the good of the world, I won't let that bastard live. Okay. For the good, I won't let them. Now, these woods are pretty dangerous because they are full of invisible men. And if I wait here long enough, yeah, you can maybe see them in the distance, but we will just make a run for it. Because there's someone we need to talk to. Right about here. Yeah. Now let's hope nobody followed us. Nope. I think we're clear. Okay. As you can see, there is a head lying here on the rocks. Leave me be. And it's still alive. I like it quiet. 
leave? What business I... You may call me Vengal. If I deserve a name Vengal. in this sorry state. It is rare to flap these gums. Long ago, I remember a long, brutal fight, and then I came to him. and found my... I don't know what explains it. Now, I watch the days go, but I've grown weary of battle. I know not what brings you. You may bear it, but I want... I see visions. His my body, body is still alive somewhere. My body will... My body will show. I learn new things if... And thanks to you, if I can help you. Learn the gesture. You can buy some items from him. Claymore and a great sword. A ring of sword protection. Uh, some destructive great arrows. Lightning urn. Oh, never used that before. And magic barrier. You don't actually Farewell. need anything more from him. I will retire to my silence. Okay, and we. There are a couple of items in this area, but our sword is nearly broken. So. For now, we will skip these. For now. And we will just sprint on to the next area. That should be right through here, yeah. Because there's a bonfire here and then from this bonfire we can walk to Majula and upgrade our Estes Flask. Then we can go back and scout the Shaded Woods. Or we can actually, yeah, we can do that now, before we upgrade our Estes Flask. Let's go there now. Oh, there's a face here. That's Oh, that's the first time I've noticed that. Head or dark spirit? Come on. Can this do something? Do all the trees have this? No. Oh, <laughs> for a moment I thought it was one of the invisible warriors. Oh yeah, there's one there. Hello. Oh. He's right here. They're quite difficult to see. There's one there near the item. Oh yeah. Oh. This is a cursing urn. It curses you. <laughs> oh. There are two of them. This one. Ah, I hit the tree again. Oh, he's over there. Yeah. Nope, he ran away. Oh, fuck. That's a lot. Question is, where is that chest? There was a chest here. Well, here, I mean, somewhere. But where is it? Oh, 
crap, now I'm lost. Okay, this is not... Oh! Way to go. Okay, there's another one there. Oh, he rolled away, and there's a chest. Awesome. There's a message there. Please don't be trapped. Clear blue stone ring plus one. I don't know exactly what that does. So let's go first to a safe place. Now I think we've done... Wait, there's one more chest that I know of. Yeah, it's this one. We need to go on the... Yeah, the little ledge. And let's hope we don't get backstabbed. Quarantining plus one, yes. That's the direct upgrade. But I think, I don't know if we have enough carry capacity to incorporate it. Let's see. Uh, ring. Oh yeah. Wow. We can carry lots of... What? Damn. Oh yeah. I put some points into all this, didn't I? <laughs> what is my character doing? And the clear blue stone ring. Shorten spell casting time. So not very useful to me. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Let's see if we can equip our other helmet. Yeah, we can. Any other helmet? That is better than this one? No. 96.2. <laughs> you are a weird guy. You know that? Talking to my character. <laughs> Uh, up the stairs, and now we can go and upgrade. Now we look like a proper knight. Hello. Is that a here to see? However. Shards by chance? No. No, we can't level up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I think, yeah, I'll, I'll leave this episode here. So, as always, if you like this episode, please give it a like. And if you really, really like this episode, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.